The Air 75 version 2 is cool because it improves on an already great device. I chose the Wisteria tactile switches, which gives off a more satisfying tactile experience, but Newfie delivers samples with all of their switches. So if you wanna try something new, you can kind of get a taste of what it is like. Personally, I love that you get samples for each one to see if there's a different feel. However, the differences are incredibly subtle in response and noise. The Wisteria to me feels like the perfect in-between of all of them. It also has double shot PBT keycaps. The double shot PBT keycaps texture surface is more durable and less likely to fade compared to the less durable shine through keycaps. You do have a nice snow versus cloudy sky color when you compare them side by side with the PBT being more brilliant and really stark white while the shine through is a little bit more dull. When choosing between each keycap, think about your preferences for backlighting, durability, and feel, or just generally aesthetics. One thing I love about Nufi is the ability to have different keyboard colors. You have the ionic white, the basalt gray, which is great if you wanna be more discreet at work, and I have the lunar gray. So technically I kinda of wanted the basalt white, but they're out of it, so I had to go with the gray. The 84 Keys Air 75 lacks a number pad, which is why it's called 75, because it has 75% keyboard, which most people only need if they do a lot of number crunching. It also has double adjustable feet, allowing for some lift, but only a little bit. See, the new feet can be adjustable at the lowest incline setting, but it sometimes collapses if you just nudge it a little bit or while you're typing. Also, if you have it on a smooth surface, it does move around a lot, a lot. I love the overall design. It's lightweight and small enough for you to pack in your bag or backpack. It has several sound dampening layers to reduce the typing noise, but it produces like a rich sound to it. Um, but it's basically the ultimate travel partner for cafes, airports, or any co-working spaces. And you can protect it from bumps and damages with the new Folio version three case, which kind of also works as not only a case, but a stand. So you can put your phone or tablet for extra versatility. I kind of wish that they added like a pocket somewhere for accessories, um, you know, like for cords, dongles, things like that. That would be nice. It does its job well, but I do find that the magnets are a little weak and also it can easily collapse if you nudge it a little bit. Then the folio slides or collapses more than I like. So the Air 75s works with your Windows or Mac. You can also use it wirelessly wired, which you also need when you're updating it. And you will need an adapter if you're using an all USB-C device as not only does the wire, but the dongle is also USB-A side indicators. This, the left side light shows you if the cap locks is on and what connection mode. So for example, if you're switching to the first, second, or third device, and it will turn green when you're connecting to your fourth device, which is used with the actual dongle. Let's see, FN and four. The right side line does show battery mode as well as the system mode. I wish it was more gradual. Yeah, you see right here, it's, like, it's orange. So therefore it's anywhere from I think 80 to 10%, but I wish there was kind of more to it, you know? And you can also customize the side light effects and colors using key combinations. The keyboard lasts about around three to four days if you have the lights just blasting with full brightness and of course constant use. You can turn it off, lower it, or use reactive lights for it to last a little longer. Or you can actually put it on sleep mode, which is an option. It turns off the backlight after a few minutes and puts it in a low power state after an activity. With that, it's been about two, three weeks where I haven't really needed to charge it. And so that's definitely been a great option. So, but why would you even lower your battery life for backlighting? The keys are visible in dark rooms because of the backlighting. It's also great for late night gaming, um, working in dim offices, or using it as a home theater, or using it in a home theater. You can also use the QMK VIA. It lets you use macros, shortcuts to kind of automate or simplify your work and adjust the light color. So for, for example, you can make the main color white, which is kind of more of like a light blue or like greenish 
um, tent. It's not pure white. You can also use it to map game controls or macros for complicated in-game actions, reprogramming keys and creating macros. It's just overall a great advantage for coding and bringing efficiency to that. So people with accessibility needs can also adjust the keyboard layout for more comfort, make sure that certain important keys are easy to access. You can also have different layouts to use those macros on so you can code more and save some time. I would like the whole QMK VIA process to be a little bit more straightforward. You'll need to download a bunch of files to get everything running smoothly. How about some in-house software that's super user friendly? I mean, something like the Logitech Logi Options Plus, which is very simple, easy to navigate, and there's no need to bother with multiple downloads. It would save people like my mom and me from a lot of setup headaches. But still, the new Air 75 is a solid choice if you're into mechanical keyboards. It's got style, it's versatile, and it's got a bunch of standout features. But what about you? Are you tempted to try it, or do you have another favorite mechanical keyboard? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you have any questions or need tips for setting it up, let me know I'm here to help.